podcast. Here's KATC Chief Meteorologist Rob Perillo. Welcome back and welcome to the weekend. The weekend's going to be pretty similar tomorrow as compared to what we saw today. Plenty of clouds, maybe a few showers. I think we see a little bit more in the way of afternoon sun, but then heading into late, late Saturday night towards Sunday morning, it's going to get stormy. The threat of strong to severe storms and some locally heavy rainfall. And we have the latest graph model in. I think it's pretty much spot on, so we'll get to that in just a bit. First off, though, you can see the showers and storms across Texas associated with an upper level low. That's all the way back over by uh, West Texas, by El Paso in northern Mexico, producing showers and storms. We have flood watches in effect for much of uh, southeast, south central Texas, and that's going to continue through tomorrow, tonight and tomorrow as more activities expected here. After all is said and done, some folks are going to get more than a half a foot of rain there. Meanwhile, for us, it's been relatively quiet. We did have some showers on the radar, not a whole lot going on on the Doppler radars late this afternoon. I have it tuned down to take away some of the ground clutter, but you can see the bulk of the activity, mainly southeast Texas offshore in the Gulf of Mexico. Some light sprinkles working their way across the area, but generally quiet this evening, and uh, that's the way it's going to go. So if you're heading on out, don't think you need an umbrella or any rain gear per se, but it's going to be cloudy, maybe on the misty, drizzly side uh, at times. Now, as we head into tomorrow, there is a marginal risk of uh, severe storms, mainly across southeastern southern Texas, extreme western Louisiana. That carries us from Saturday morning 7 a.m. to Sunday morning 7 a.m. Then we get into Sunday per se, and then we see that risk increasing to a slight risk of severe storms. And sometimes we see an upgrade on this day three outlook within that slight risk area. But the bottom line, the risk of storms that could produce damaging winds, maybe a couple of isolated tornadoes. And based on the upper uh, air analysis that I've done, uh, it looks like there's a definitive marker for some hail, some very cold temperatures aloft in the minus 20 degree range and usually we can see hail minus 13 to minus 15 degrees. So minus 20 is very cold air aloft. So that means hail could be in the equation as well. And I think we see several rounds, some action around daybreak on Sunday and then more action going into the afternoon. And that's how we sh show it here on the graph model. Now tomorrow, tonight, tomorrow, relatively quiet, mostly cloudy skies, a little bit cooler. I think we see a few afternoon showers as we showed you on the high resolution rapid refresh model earlier, uh, not shown here on the graph model, but then look at the action back across Texas going into Saturday night, Sunday morning. Strong to possibly severe showers and storms pushing on through. Here we are at 7 o'clock in the morning, so it could be pre-dawn hours, and these storms will contain strong gusty winds at the very least and a lot of cloud to ground lightning and some heavy rainfall. And then that weakens, and then we could see additional activity back building. So that's why we're a little concerned about the rainfall threat. Again, this model run not as uh, severe as the one I posted online earlier today on social media, but nonetheless, there's going to be more shower and thunderstorm activity, at least through the early afternoon hours that could still produce damaging winds, perhaps an isolated tornado, and certainly it looks like hail could be a factor as well. By Sunday night, things quieting down and we get a bit of a break on Monday, but more weather on the way for Tuesday into Wednesday. Latest graph model rainfall output for Sunday, two to three inches of rain, a pretty good bet. Isolated areas might see more, and then we look at the European model model, which is not a high resolution model, but it does show a couple of inches of rain through Sunday. But I mentioned Tuesday and Wednesday we see more rain, so you add that rain on top of it. You can see it's going to be a soggy week ahead, uh, but improving after Wednesday. So mostly cloudy, milder tonight, an isolated shower possible, 67 the low, 79 to 80 the high tomorrow, maybe a peak of the sun, a few afternoon showers, possibly a thunderstorm. Gets breezy tomorrow afternoon, letting us know that there's going to be something up going into Saturday night into Sunday. Your rain chance on Sunday at 90%. It may not be an all day rain. We might even see sun late in the day, a break on Monday, and then more stormy weather Tuesday into Tuesday night, early Wednesday. Thereafter, good looking forecast and looking forward already to next weekend. Marcel.